Hey guys, this is Bolo and today in this tutorial, I will show how we can create this scene in Blender using fluid simulations easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful and without any further ado, let's start today's video. So here I'm using Blender 3.6.5, nice. So first of all, let's clear this Z files by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. Here I will be using this Blender kit to get the models and by the way, this Blender kit is free to download. Later, we can search for models. So here I will search for ice cream. If I enable this one, you can see we got the models, right? So here I will simply click on this image and the model will be loaded here. So here we got the model. Let's select it, press S and increase the scaling. So now let's see whether this model has any modifiers on it. So let's close this. Now select this one, come to this modifier options. It got two modifiers. Let's apply them. So apply. Now select this stick and apply the modifier for this also. Now select the object, select this rotation tool. Let's rotate this here a bit like this. Okay, fine. So now let's add honey onto this ice candy or ice bar. So for that, we'll be using cube. So go to this add mesh, select a cube here and let's place the cube. Press three for side view. Let's reduce the scaling. Press S and reduce the scaling here. So I think this much is fine. And I think this much is height is enough. S, Y and increase the scaling in Y axis. Now press seven on the keyboard. So here timeline, I will increase this to 500 frames. So let's place this object here. Now being on the first frame, press I on the keyboard, add a keyframe for location. Now move 100 frames forward in timeline and let's bring this object here and push it down. Now again, press I on the keyboard, add a keyframe for location. Here we got the keyframes, right? Now move 100 frames forward again, bring the object here and let's place this here down. I location keyframe. Now move to 300 frames, bring the object here, bring it down. Press I and add a keyframe for location. Now move to 400 frame. Let's bring it here and drop it down and press I on the keyboard and add a keyframe for location. So now if I play this, you can see we got this kind of animation. Now let's see how we can add fluid simulations onto this cube only. So here being selected this cube, go to this object options, quick effects and select this quick liquid. So here you can see we got a box created around that object. So this is called domain. So the simulation takes inside this domain only. So we need to increase the scaling of this domain so that it fits the scene completely. So select the domain, press S and increase the scaling. Press three for side view and let's place it here. We need to make sure the complete scene is inside this box only. Let's increase this a bit. I think this much is fine. Now press one on the keyboard for front view. And let's place this here as X and increase the scale. So here you can see the complete scene is inside this domain only. Nice. So now being selected this domain, come to this physics property. So domain type, let it be liquid. Resolution, I will change this to 64 for time being. Later, I will increase this number while rendering. So scroll down and enable this mesh option. Before do that, enable this viscosity if you want to add some viscosity. So I will enable this one and I will reduce this value. So I will reduce this to point. 0015 a small amount of viscosity is enough now enable this diffusion option also now click on this three dots here here we can select any of the preset you like so here i will be selecting this oil instead of honey so honey means it will have a lot of viscosity and the fluid movement will be very slow so for that reason i will select as oil and here we need to select a folder where we can save the data so I will select a folder where this catchy data can be saved. Just simply click on that and select a folder. So here I have selected a folder where this data will be saved and here we get the simulation frames. So here I will change this to 500 frames so that the simulation stays to 500 frames and type change it to all. So after changing this to all only, we will get this bake option or else we won't get that bake option. So if I change this to replay, the bake is not available. So make sure this is changed to all. So if you want to resume the bake in between, you can enable this is resumable option also. So I will enable this also. Now let's select this object. So type let it be flow, flow type change it to liquid and uh, flow behavior change it to inflow. That means the flow movement will be continuously throughout the timeline. So here I want to stop that flow after 400 frames. So I will move to 400 frames here. Add a keyframe for this use flow option. Now move one frame forward. Disable this use flow option and add a keyframe. So that indicates still 401 frames the honey will be dropping from this object. After that, it will be stopped. And sampling, I will increase this to 5. Now select this ice cream bar, apply fluid onto that. So for this, we need to change this as effector and effector type, let it be collision. And sampling, I will increase this to 10. 
and for this stick also let's apply that type effector and sampling 10 so once these settings are done select this domain option scroll down and click on this bake all button so it may take time depending upon the resolutions what we have set so here you can see it is taking long time so i will reduce the resolution count so let's release the bake once again change this to 32 so that this bake will be finished soon scroll down and simply click on this bake all button and one thing is important here this voxel size is right it should be less when compared to the object which is emptying the liquid so when compared to this object this voxel size is less so we will get the liquid simulation properly for example if i change the resolution to 32 and here you can see the voxel size is a bit larger when compared to the object so in these situations if i try to bake the simulation let me show you if i click on this bake button it will show that it is processing the bake option but we will not get any liquid getting through this object so if i escape this one and here you can see we are not getting any liquid emitting from that object so for that reason we need to have this voxel size less compared to the object which is emptying the liquid so let's free this simulation and let's change the resolution to 64 now the voxel size is less when compared to the object which is emptying the fluid so now if i bake this simulation we will get everything so just click on this bake button now here you can see it is processing so here the bake is done and if i play this we will get our fluid simulation here so here you can see this object is emitting that fluid and it is interacting with this so here i will show how we can apply materials so simply move on to this material viewport so in order to apply materials i will be using this uh, blender kit only so move on to this material tab so by default this got some material on it so i will change this to honey so here simply search as honey and we will get that materials so here i will apply this material so simply select the object and click on this image it will be loaded onto this so here you can see we got that material applied now let's move on to this rendering viewport so currently this scene is looking dark because there is no light in the scene so now let's apply some lighting in the scene so come to this world properties click on this yellow button or yellow dot and select this environment texture so from here we will be loading hdra so here i got few hdras from poly heaven which is free to download so i load hdra here so simply click on this open and select hdra so i will select this one and open so now you can see we got that hdra applied now come to this render settings enable ambient occlusion and distance i will change this to 5 enable screen space reflections and refractions also now scroll down enable this transparency to get the transparent background now let's add a camera in the scene so go to this add camera Control alt 0 to see through camera press n on the keyboard come to this view options and log this to 3d cursor and camera to view now we can adjust the location rotation of the camera here so i think this is okay so let it be here like this so if you want to add another light source for shadows you can do that so go to this add light sunlight so i will come to the setting options let's increase the strength to two so now if i rotate this we will get the shadows appearing you can see we are getting those shadows right so i think let it be here like this now let's add a background so go to this add mesh select a plane press s and increase the scaling here r x 90 and push it backward so let's increase the scaling a bit so that it covers the scene completely now let's apply a material so come to this material options new come to this base color and here i will change this to so once this is done come to this output properties so by default the resolution is set to full hd i will leave this to full hd only so if you want to increase you can do that so enable this render region crop to render region frame rate here you can change and frame start and end here we can change so i will leave this to 500 only 1 to 500 only so from here we can select a folder where we can save the files so let's click on that and select a folder so here i have selected a folder to save the files and scroll down so file format you can use any of the thing you like so i will change this to jpeg only and quality change to 100 percent now come to this render options and before to that if you want to render in cycles this you can do that so come to this render output render engine change to cycles and if your device has gpu change this to gpu compute so this may take time depending upon the samples what we have said if you are using cycles 
make sure to reduce the sample so i think 128 samples will work other than that it will take much time my computer can't handle this 128 frames only so depending upon the configuration of your device and time you can spend you can change the samples and make sure this denoise option is enabled by default this will be enabled check this once and after that you can come to this render options and click on this render animation so here i will be using this ev only so now come to this render and render animation so in this way we can create this animation in blender using fluid simulations easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye